Hi guys, I'm an A-level student studying science and maths. I've just finished my first year and one of the things which has really helped me with sciences this year has been uh, these review magazines. I've also got chemistry and physics ones, but I found the biology ones the most useful because uh, with chemistry and physics often you need to have um, understanding of certain mathematics for physics or maybe certain chemical laws for chemistry to understand an article. And since this is for AS and A2, often if you're doing AS and you read an A2 article, um, you find it a bit complicated. But for biology, you can pretty much, as long as you know what osmosis is and uh, certain pumps and stuff, then you'll be able to read all through the article, or all through every article, and uh, understand it all pretty well. Also, I think biology as a whole is more of a horizontal subject where the more random stuff you know uh, the better you'll be at it while chemistry and physics really you want to like crack on with the syllabus anyway uh, these come out four times a year which gives you plenty of time to read them because often if I get like a weekly magazine or something I'll never have enough time to read through the whole magazine uh, but yeah, you get plenty of time to read it. And one of the things which makes these magazines, in my opinion, much better than things like New Scientist, Scientific American, etc., is they're really targeted towards A-level syllabus. So on the surface, you know, I'll read these out, Reflections on Biology in 2012, How Science Works, Glucose Getting the Balance Right, etc., etc. They may not seem exactly like they're focused on the syllabus, but they really do. For example, uh, this Reflections on Biology in 2012 is basically, you know, I guess you'd call it a news article or an update on what's happening in biology at the moment in the real world. Um, but you've got things, I mean, it's half magazine, half textbook, because you've got things like keywords, which say uh, all, all these words, and you've got all the stuff related to the uh, A-level syllabus, for example, reduced blood flow in arteries and uh, ion pumps over here. And it's a, it's a really nice colourful format with nice uh, label diagrams. And you, you know, you have loads of stuff. You've got links to online websites, you've got key points, you've got uh, more website stuff and further reading, etc, etc. It's, you know, it's really good for looking at stuff in a different light. Um, because often if you're just looking at the same textbook especially and you just look at it over and over and over again you get really bored but what this does is it's basically I would call it a bunch of case studies so um, I don't know for example glucose it'll talk it'll talk about um, you know limiting glucose in this article or whatever but um, and that seems not related to the syllabus or what you're learning at all. But then, um, obviously, I'll link it to, you know, the structure of glucose, the blah, 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 which organs process glucose and stuff like that. There's a few other things. There's some crosswords and stuff, if that's your type of thing. There's a lot of um, pictures like this, just if you're... I'll get this out. Just if you're into... <laughs> well, I guess if you're doing biology, you're probably into looking at frogs and stuff. I have to confess, I never was really into zoology. But, yeah, it's it's honestly a really good magazine. But I'll say a few things which uh, I think are bad about it. One I've already mentioned, obviously, if it's covering both AS and A2, then you're going to be reading stuff which isn't directly linked to your specification. You could say that's a good thing, you know, you get wider knowledge and stuff, but uh, obviously if you're worried about your exams, uh, you don't want to waste time just reading something completely unrelated. Uh, also, you know, I think if it doesn't give a complete overview of the syllabus, it just does little snippets, and sometimes I think um, it goes completely away from it and talks about um, you know, some person going on a field, well, not a field trip, a, a research project somewhere and just talks about the life of a biologist trying to advertise the career to you or something. Uh, but apart from that, I think it's a really good magazine and uh, if you haven't already, you should probably consider ordering it. Anyway, thanks, bye.